All right, guys, check it out really quick. Uh, the, the way this video is going to go is uh, me and Trey are going to go down to Robbie's. We're going to feed some, like, 200 pounds. I'm, I'm talking massive, massive tarpon down in, uh, I think it's Is it, Alzamorada, Isla Morada, the Keys. However you say that, that's where we're going. We're going to do that. And then about halfway through the video, it's going to transfer over to a trip that I took with my wife and kids to Bass Pro Shop to pick up my first ever uh, saltwater fishing rod and reel, like my... Not my first ever, I should say, but my, the one I picked up for actually catching like big fish. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Stay tuned. It's like these fish down at Robbie's, it's absolutely crazy. So uh, without further ado, let's feed some fish. Absolutely crazy. Bro, they're all here. So many tarpon. So many oh tarpon. God. Look, Trey. Dude, these are Mac Daddies, bro. You feed them one by hand first? Yep. Alright, I'm gonna video you do it. Oh my god. That's what that dude meant. That's what that dude caught that fish from the from the thing right there. <laughs> Literally, just push your hand on me. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh. That's so sick, dude, bro. That's a big one. Woo. He's gonna come for it. He's coming for it. Bust on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Let's do all right. Let's go get another bucket, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. That's so crazy. That's crazy. Bro, that's so sick. You want? Yeah. Bro. <laughs> You're not good at this. I got scared. Go, go, chill. Ready? These are some very big, very powerful fish. Very, very massive. Bro, I'm about to get birded, probably. <laughs> Bro, chill. The birds just. Birds. Look at dude, the birds are They're sad. fighting over it. He's got his beak. <laughs> oh my goodness. Will it get your hand? The jacks, uh, they might. What about the tarpon? The tarpon, yeah, they'll get you, but it's like sandpaper. They don't have teeth. It's like a sandpaper mouth. Just a really big sandpaper mouth. You got too many little, little guys in there. Look at that big one, dude. Eyeball. Oh, he's Whoa. He's going, Trey. He's going, he's going to go for it. He's going to go for it. Oh, Jackson, Trey, out here. They're, here. Too, they're way too fast. That's why I can't reach them. <laughs> Just lay down. Dude, that's a grown one, dude. The jacks won't move, dude. There's Tarvin, there's Tarvin, there's Tarvin. Bro, these jacks are really Go, go, go. There's Tom right there. The jacks are too fast. The jacks are way too fast. How about that, Trey? That was sick, wasn't it? That was sick, That dude. was crazy. That was crazy. All right. We're going to go eat now. We just, we literally came down here to do that right there, but that was fun. Uh, and one day I'm going to hook up on not one of these, obviously, but uh, a tarpon in general. But anyways, guys, these fish are massive. I'm talking 100 pounders. Massive. This thing is, that, that's a 120 pound fish. Like that's just, there's no questions. Like that thing is the one beside it. That one's no joke either. ginormous. I can't get over how big these fish are. Like, let's see. I can't believe I got burned. Yeah. All right, let's go back. Crazy. All right, time to go eat. 
So right over there is where you feed the really big tarpon. All right, check it out. So this video kind of took a turn. And uh, what I mean by that is what you uh, saw first was us feed those tarpon, which was really cool. I just wanted to document that experience and, and have that because it's not every day you get to go somewhere and feed 100, 120, 140 pound tarpon. Like, it's pretty cool, right? Anyways, the next portion of this video that you guys are about to see is salt water, rod and reel that I needed to catch bigger fish, such as those tarpon or something like that. Not those specifically because it's, uh, although it's not illegal, it's highly frowned upon to uh, stand right here where I'm standing and take a cast over towards those tarpon. Not good. But anyways, my camera's about to die, so uh, enjoy the rest of the video. What is up, guys? What's going on? Welcome back to another very exciting episode of Yak Pack Outdoors. Today, I'm about to change some butts real quick, but we're at this place, right? It's called IGFA, the International Game Fish Association, okay? We're gonna walk in here. I hope they basically have like every kind of saltwater fishing record. Uh, it's like all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, Ryan was telling me about this place. There's like a little pond with some like 200 pound tarpon or something like that in it. So we're gonna try to see some of those as well. And then we're gonna walk in Bass Pro Shop and we're gonna get my first ever uh, saltwater fishing combo, basically. like an actual one, a big one, one that I don't have already. But let's get into uh, IGFA real quick, let's check it out. I'm pretty hyped for this. Are you hyped, Bella? Daddy! She's hyped. You wanna go see Bobby Tutu? See Bobby Tutu. See Bobby Tutu, Bobby Tutu, Bobby Tutu, Bobby Tutu, Bobby Are you excited? Yeah. Me too, let's go. Well, this is what we were supposed to be looking at. That's the world record. Uh, black marlin. This is uh, 735 pounds, caught February 2000. Uh, but apparently, that place, the IGFA, was shut down and moved to Missouri like four years ago. I don't think Ryan knew about that when he told me that. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fault you for that, Ryan. It's okay. You know, everybody makes mistakes. No, I'm just kidding. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Now we're just gonna do our thing, like what we came down here for. We're going to Bass Pro really quick. You guys already know Bella had to go see Bobby Tutu. There she is. What is it? On the wall? Yeah. Look at that turtle. Yeah. Look at this one. That's a big one, huh? Dude, this has to be like a 12 or 13 pounder right here. This is such a big bass. Insane. Belle, is that a big Bobby Choo Choo? Yeah. I think she has more fun in Bass Pro Shop than I do. That's a good sign though, right? He's got lots of teeth, don't he? <laughs> Bobby Choo Choo. Bobby Choo Choo. That's a big shark right there. We're gonna go over and check out what kind of, uh, basically I'm looking for the 7.6 Heavy mojo bass uh inshore yeah instead of mojo bass it's mojo inshore that's what i'm looking for so hopefully they got it let's go find out okay so we decided to get the 7.6 heavy mojo inshore and we did find a daiwa bg 5000 they had it not on display but under the counter so now we have to go home we're gonna put it together it's it's it feels really good colin uses that combo a lot he also uses this same rod with the um, Shimano Twin Power, and that's like a $500 reel, and I just didn't want to spend $500 on, you know, super high quality. I just, I didn't want to spend $500, you know what I'm saying? You got to save money where you can. And the, uh, the Daiwa BG is like a third of that. So, good reel nonetheless. Anyways, we're going to get home, we're going to line it up, and I will catch you guys. We'll be doing something else here shortly. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the tarpon feeding here at Robbie's. Uh, if you've never done it, you ever, ever, ever get the chance to do it, 10 out of 10, highly recommend it. Uh, super fun. It's like five bucks a, uh, a bucket full of food, too. So it's a really cool experience. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope you guys enjoyed the whole uh, saltwater rod type portion of this video. Two experiences that I could not 
make an entire video out of, but two experiences and uh, things that I wanted to share with you guys, just like I always do. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and I love all of you. Seriously, seriously, thank you for all the support. I mean it when I say it. Thanks for watching, guys. We got about a four-hour drive home. Catch y'all next time.